Hello friends, in this video we will talk about hormones that are released by pituitary gland. As we know, pituitary gland is divided into two parts that is anterior pituitary and this one is the posterior pituitary. Anterior pituitary is known as adenohypophysis while posterior pituitary is known as neurohypophysis. This pituitary gland is also known as master gland and it is regulated by hypothalamus so it is hypothalamus is the master of master gland and they are releasing factor from the hypothalamus which control the function of pituitary gland for posterior pituitary they are neurons that are transmitting the signal but for anterior pituitary there is portal vein blood vessels they are uh, controlling the releasing factor so these blood vessels are known as hypothalamic hypophysial portal system as we know this is releasing from hypothalamus but controlling the function of anterior pituitary that is hypophysis as we know pituitary is also known as hypophysis but for posterior pituitary these are under the neural control and coordination through axon they are transmitting their releasing factor and controlling the function of pituitary gland. From the posterior pituitary there are two hormones that are released. This is oxytocin and vasopressin. Oxytocin is known as child birth hormone as it is responsible for uterine contraction during child birth and also responsible for the ejection of milk while this vasopressin is also known as ADS that is responsible for concentration of urine as it is responsible for reabsorption of water and minerals and um, least amount of water and minerals they are released into urine so these are the hormones of uh, posterior pituitary oxytocin and vasopressin both of them they are the hormones of posterior pituitary while hormones of anterior pituitary they are growth hormone prolactin and this prolactin is responsible for for the formation of milk but for rejection it is the oxytocin so it is very important and other hormones of anterior pituitary that is tsh acth and lh and fsh these lh and fss fsh they are responsible for ovulation